I started this work 25, 30 years ago, um, when really my personal connection was my grandmother who had had a stroke and lost the ability to speak. Um, yet she was very uh, a powerful woman and she taught me that really everyone has a story to tell inside of them, but that it's up to us as listeners to figure out how to listen that story into being. And now, of course, if with time, my mother's experiencing dementia. So it's a whole new way for me to experience what I've been trying to invite other people to do over the last 25 years. What has been the reaction from family members? You know, they really tell us that this is a joy, that sometimes family members and family caregivers um, can experience a lot of loss and challenge and grief during the day. But that moment when they shift and open up uh, expression and connect in that way, it can shift the tone and you can feel as though you're connecting again with someone that you thought might have been lost to you. Can you tell me what is creative engagement? Creative engagement is really simply inviting someone into expression and meaning making. And for people like people experiencing memory loss and their caregivers who might be shut out of that experience, the, that invitation can be a lifeline into relationship and back into community and connection. It really sounds like a non-traditional approach to making that connection. Can you explain a little bit more about how it works? Sure, we teach people to kind of see past the loss we can be stopped by the shock of memory loss. We teach people to recognize the strengths and to build on those to make meaning together. Um, I've worked with people who have no words at all and an invitation into expression can be movement and gesture or someone might respond with music and sound um, and, or a few words to build a poem. Um, we really simply just have to learn the techniques that can help bring that expression out. And those techniques are really improvisation, saying yes and, asking beautiful questions that open expression, offering proof of listening that the person has been heard, opening yourself to wonder, and then also trying to connect that expression to the larger world and your larger community. I really love how this helps with people who are suffering that progressive memory loss, but overall, it's a really good lesson just in, in listening. What about the patients, those who are suffering the progressive memory loss? What's their reaction? People experiencing memory loss often say the same thing, that it's joyful, that it's fun, it's empowering. It creates a lab space almost where they can experiment with communication again and feel that ability to connect and make meaning which can be very frustrating to feel when you're losing that. Um, one woman, after a year long project that we did using creative engagement to, if you can imagine, reimagine the story of Homer's Odyssey together, um, she told us when I asked her, did you enjoy this project? She said, you know, this is the last important thing I'll do in my life. You are in Wisconsin, we're in New Jersey. Can people in New Jersey get to be a part of this program? One of the incredible things is that since 2011, Time Slips has been virtual. So our training and all of our resource materials are online. We have certified facilitators in 49 states now and 20 countries. We were just certifying someone in Kenya, which is very exciting. And it's really the other treat about the online network is that we really are nurturing their creativity. So joining the email list or coming to the website, you're, you're tapping into this incredible, inspiring international network of people inviting expression, making meaningful connection, and sharing it in really myriad and, and beautiful ways. So is there anything that people need to know if they want to, if they have a family member, a friend, and they're thinking, mm, I would like to start this, what are their first steps? I would guide people to the website, um, timeslips.org, hundreds of resources there, um, free and online training. 
I would also say I just in May have a book out called Creative Care that is available and walks people through those core elements that I described so quickly in, in the beginning of this interview. And then um, we also have a new program that we're launching in November called Engagement Parties. And it's, it's designed to destigmatize the experience of memory loss and caregiving and give these tools to, pe to family members and friends in very simple little engagement parties, as we call them, um, so that they can learn these techniques to connect again. All that information is on the website. Mm -hmm.